Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, I'm up on side of my Freighter bridge right now, inside of my PC save. As you can see, I've got all the deck crew. These guys are all here. And also the people down by where the ships are below me. They're all there still. But all the NPCs that should be in here, that are walking around, you know, all my frigate crew, all my ambient people, should be walking around in here but as you can see there is nobody here nobody at all now these have been missing for a little while since a drift dropped the last sort of like expedition but this used to be a hustling and bustling full of all the npcs just walking around ambiently you know they'd be all out here on the mezzanine everywhere now, you're probably thinking, well, that is the new Pirate Dreadnought class of uh, freighter, Captain Steve. Well, this is the same on my PlayStation, where I've got the same freighter that I've had for years. I'll boot up my um, PlayStation save in a moment and show you that all the NPCs are missing. This is something that I want to check to see if this is still the case after the latest update that we get. Now, Ambient Crew was brought in for your freighters. Uh, from, I think it was Endurance and Polestar, that update that brought them in. But anyway, this is also going to be a video on prepping for the update. So what I want to make sure is my multiplayer is turned off and everything else that's multiplayer related is turned off, which is lovely. And PvP is also off. But what I want to now do is get myself to a safe region of the game where I don't think anything is going to change. Now, the stations have recently had a massive overhaul. I think a station might be a reasonably safe place to go. There you go, look. These little prick guys are still down here. They're, these are still here. It's not these guys that I'm on about. A lot of people are saying, yes, my, my crew's still there. I can still see my captain and the guys down by my ships. No, it's in the base build area that I'm on about. Anyway, I'm going to fly on out. And I think probably a safe place would probably be... You see this system right here has got loads of bases in right now. Loads of bases, loads of points of interest. I don't want to save here either. I want to go to an area of space where there's no complexity at all. And I'm fairly sure not much is going to change. I don't want to go to an abandoned area of space because, as we know, a lot of the latest expeditions have centred around abandoned systems. And I'm really wondering whether there's going to be an overhaul to what we do and what we can see in abandoned systems. So I'm going to a normal system that I'm hoping hasn't been discovered by anyone, that hasn't got any bases there. I'm going to fly into the station and I'm going to create my save there. I think that is probably going to be the safest place for making a save where I know that the stability, complexity, multiplayer, nothing is going to affect me. And I can see there's no sort of base markers around me. So I'm just going to fly into the station and make sure I've created a save here. And then I'm going to jump in. I'm going to do the same on my PlayStation save as well. Now, you can back up your saves. You know, on PC, it's fairly simple. You've got all the folder structure. You should be able to make a copy or back it up to you know, wherever. But also, I believe it saves over on Steam. So Steam, I'm hoping, has backed up my save. But to be honest, I don't overly back up saves all too often. I have on my PlayStation. But then I've got PlayStation Plus, so it backs up to a cloud. So I just make sure it's, you know, fine there. But there we go. Um, yeah, so I've jumped out of my ship. I might as well jump in my ship and out of my ship again just to make a save. But I believe it's just auto-saved anyhow. So let's jump in. And let's jump out. Done. Hopefully we get sound effects added to the cockpit opening and closing as well in the next update. <laughs> anyway, people, I'm going to go do the same now on my old PlayStation. So I'm just going to hit quick to desktop here. And I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now I'm on PlayStation and I'm part of PlayStation Plus, I can go to Upload, Download, Save Data. And all I'm going to do on this one is I'm going to make sure that I've uploaded my my save. There we go. And yes. Upload. Chikaboom. Now, really, technically, I should have done that after I've logged into the actual game. But I'm going to show you something that you can do as you, when you've logged into the game anyway from the main title screen to sort of save yourself a bit of squiffiness after you've actually uh, logged in, you know, after the update. So there we go. Just get past all these screens. Lovely, lovely. So Hello Games has actually added in a settings 
menu on the actual start screen here where you can go into options and you can go into network and you can actually turn off multiplayer from the actual main screen so if you have forgot to do any of this prior to the update you could turn off multiplayer at this stage and then jump on in you know but anyways i'm going to boot into my main save which is this one here this is my legacy save this is the save that i want to be logging in with whenever i'm firing up a new update Okay, I'm on board my freighter. Let's have a look to see if there's any of my crew running around on this one. And no, it's, it's like a ghost town, people, you know? Normally, you'd see people walking around in the actual mezzanines. You'd see people in here. You'd see them everywhere. The only people that I have got are the ones on these terminals, but they're always here. It's the people walking around, the NPCs ambulantly walking around. They've all vanished. It should be your freighter crews that you can see aboard your freighters mulling about doing their own thing. But yeah, they've all freaking vanished, people. I guess they have. Right, well, I have got a teleporter here. I could just teleport to a station rather than jumping and flying through systems of space. So let's just head on up here. There you go. So my scientist is still there. So I don't know here. Hit this. And all I'm going to do is select space station and i'm going to go to one of the older ones oh i've got mainly pirate ones all saved in here okay well i go to why is that one showing it's got a pirate logo then it's got a normal space station sign on it really that's weird okay um yeah these are all pretty much pirate stations all right well i, I guess i'm gonna have i'm gonna jump to one of those ones with a pirate logo on that's not really a pirate one. That is weird. Okay, chums. Well, I have just managed to warp to a pirate system, which shouldn't have allowed me to. That is really, really strange. I have no idea what's going on there. <laughs> I'm not going to even try and guess. Right, well, let's fly on out. Now, I want to save in a normal area of space in a system that I've never been to before. So hopefully that's got me far away from where I need to be anyway. Let's um, let's just go find a north. There we go, that'll do, that'll do. Oh, we're in the 905, in my own hub zone. Brilliant. Well, great, I jumped and um, I encountered the freaking pirate dreadnought. So now I'm just trying to get away from said pirate dreadnought. There we go. And I don't want to save in a system where there's a massive great big bit of combat going on do i so yeah, let's just go next door let's go there sweet okay right well i've arrived located let's spin this around let's go fly back into the old station shall we and let's make a save there yeah come on Flatly fly i still loving these new stations they still look pretty epic don't they i mean look at that one that's really cool. Right. There's quite a lot of variant to these new stations, to be honest. And they do look more in keeping with these new Sentinel Interceptor ships, don't they? They really do in the metallic format and the way that they look. And they look very much in keeping with the Colossal Archives on planets too. It almost feels like the Colossal Archives have broken off from these and gone and landed on the planets. I'm wondering whether they're going to increase the sort of relationship between the Colossal Archive and the stations at some point. There we go, let's uh, jump in that my ship, make sure I've definitely got a save. Oh, I haven't turned off my network settings on here as yet, have I? So here we go. And turn that off, disabled, turn off crossplay. Done, dilly and done. Now I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship again. There we are. And I'm going to quit to desktop and quit and quit uh, quit out mode select. There we go. Now the adrift expedition is long over now. Um, whoops, where is it? Community expedition coming soon. Lovely jubbly. Okay, I'm just going to log out of here again. And you know what? What I should have done is done everything first and then uploaded my save. So I'm just going to upload it again. There's no harm in uploading it again, is there? Really? Yes. There we go. Calculator Mondo. Done, diddly, and done. And that's me ready now. Hopefully, I'm going to be good to go when the update drops and I don't have to worry that it might scupper my save. Okay, so done that. Let's uh, turn the old PlayStation off, shall we? Yes, why not? And I go to there.
Sweet. Well, there we go, people. That's pretty much everything that I've got for you today. Just prepping and getting ready for the update. And hopefully that's uh, helped you guys out inside the viewerverse. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.